So what's the problem when I say I only see humans? I don't see a man or a woman. It's when you offend a group. <laughs> in you not seeing everything. Else. Exactly. Because you yeah. see your fans there. <laughs> you must acknowledge. <laughs> you acknowledge. Penduka, can you save me? Say are. something nice about her. Can you save me? You're rebranding. Penduka, <laughs> smile. <laughs> You're rebranding, dog. Penduka. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, let me see a picture. Because I'm fucking epic. Um, can I have a phone, please, lovers? Yeah. <laughs> yes, wow, what's your favorite uh, character in the bedroom, then, since you have five? Anybody, because I play, like, currently my fuck ship right now. Um, no, you can come, love. So Don't worry, it's not too late. You can Because the last time I was here, yeah, I, was, I just worry. got into a relationship Don't with my worry. girlfriend. Now I just got out of a relationship with my girlfriend. Now I'm in a fuck ship, and um, I'm fucking... Um, someone. Oh, it's a fuck ship now. It's a fuck ship. It's yeah, yeah. Fuck ship. I'm not I really like shipping that. right now, okay. but I'm shipping. I like that. All right. Um, yeah. no, I lost my phone. I don't have the disguises because I don't post on social. I post to traps. What's that? Ah. Traps oh. boys. You just oh, okay, okay. You send. Boys. I post to boys that I, I give them exclusivity. They think they're the oh. only ones that know, but there's like ten of them being juggled, and I'm only fucking one out of, out of ten. Mm. But everyone, you leave them hoping. It's a game. Mm. So re- the reason why I wanted you to come today, right? I'll be honest. I can't come in on camera. <laughs> <laughs> you can, man. No, I'll be honest. We couldn't afford to give us why, so we had to bring you in. <laughs> wow, Beyonce, bitch, much. Wow. Wow. Hey. Ah. Ah. Beyonce, don't go there. Don't Beyonce, go there. Beyonce, bitch, no, 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 no. There's no one in their right minds that would feel like that is a joke because I'm a Beyonce gorilla's diplo bitch, bitch. Yeah. What does yeah, that have to do with levels. Ziggy? I'm just talking about affording in checks and prices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So she's here, not because she's... No, I'm here for free. She loves it's a charity yeah. show. I'm show. here for free. They could not afford me. Afford they me. could not. You you do you know I get, I get paid in pounds, bitch? Can you convert pounds from a, just like that? Yes. <laughs> Roughly, you say times 20. Yeah, times 20. <laughs> it is, it is. Pounds and poundings. So, so I wanted to have you on, because apparently... So in London, they don't even have strip clubs. Yeah. Because apparently you're a feminist, don't. right? Apparently I'm a feminist. Yes. And feminists want to cancel me. Oh, yes? Yes. Mm. Tell me about it. So so I, we brought you here so you can school me. You know okay. what I mean? Mm. Because you if know you look I at it... You away from school, right? But anyway. Yeah, I remember <laughs> in, the first, in the first episode. Yeah, first, yeah, she yeah. told me, yeah. Oh. But anyway, why is it like that first episode we did, had we uploaded it or dropped it last week, I would have been cancelled. What, what's the difference? Have been yes, mm. we went in there, bro. No filter. And it literally is the most loved episode. Mm. So I, I, that's why I want to know well, why. With regards to every interview I've done. Why? What? What happened? What changed between that episode and now? Maybe because you were dealing with a smart bitch there and scared of you. Mm. Or maybe you were dealing with someone who's not scared of being themselves mm. at the same time. Mm. Or maybe all of the above. Because at the end of the day, it's all conversation. And we can check each other and move on next. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Why can't it just be like that? I, I feel like it's ah, it's watched by ten thousand people. It's fine. Oh my God, it's watched by the whole country. You can't say that. So the problem is with the success of the numbers. The numbers more than the, the content issue. itself. Yes. Yeah. And also, but I feel like with regards to whatever I do with you, mm. the brand I am, there's nothing that is surprising. So there's no shock, shock value because Moonchild is known to speak her mind. Moonchild is known to just say whatever she thinks. Love sex. And therefore, yes, Moonchild is the sex bitch. Moonchild is the president for the female orgasm. So therefore, there's nothing that there's nothing that shocks them when it comes to whatever we would speak about. Because mm. because of you, how you, what brand like I Eno? am as well. She didn't even flinch. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you, do you like anal? You didn't even flinch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love anal because of my experience. When I experienced loving anal, actually, was when um, I was my stitches. Excuse me. 13 years ago, when I, was, I just gave birth to my daughter, I was still very, very horny. I remember. So I was having yeah. it in the ass. Yes. Mm, mm. That's when oh. I discovered, oh, shit. You can actually. I love this. Okay. Yeah, I love it. It was not painful? Um, so the pain is in the beginning. And once the penis is inside, it is beautiful pleasure. Hey, this is so terrible. You know, I'm trying to rebrand. And all we're talking about <laughs> is sex. I'm trying to rebrand no. here. So the thing about it is it's, also, it's always <laughs> about right like now. finding the distraction holes, like the distraction parts for me. For me, it's like the biting, nipple hurting and stuff. So while I'm focusing here, it's getting there and my ass is relaxed and I'm not thinking about the dick going in there. Mm. But also the difference is I want it there. So I, re- I tell myself I'm relaxed. But usually when I give tips, I'll be like, a lot of boys don't even like eating pussy, so they, they won't rim. Because um, apparently the tongue relaxes the muscles faster. Or something. Wow. Mm. I've, read that um, before. I've read that before. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of boys don't eat pussy, let alone ass, because they're going to think of shit. <laughs> so now you just have to find distractions. That means you need to know the body and find the distractions to distract them from paying attention to the dick going inside the ass. And once it's in, the pleasure is freaking epic. You, you, your fat literally goes like. <gasps> <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> wow, Why don't niggas like going down with women, man? It's no, no. so magical. I don't know. There's women who are absolutely clean. You'll eat ass and not feel like it's some you just unwashed and cold. Right yeah. yeah, like it, it's it's clean. <laughs> it's it's like it's like it's like a you know, unwashed and cold. <laughs> Pieces of tongue and grain. <laughs> There's grain. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you can eat ass like clean. There's clean girls out there. Yeah. Solid. I remember like, I was, I was not supposed to eat the ass, but it got there because everything was so clean. Oh. And it was the best thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Try eat ass, bro. Oh, you haven't eaten ass? No, 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 no. Groceries. No, 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 no. I haven't done groceries. No, but groceries. I really like groceries. No, 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 no. I love eating niggas' ass too. I eat everything. I eat girls, and like now. with girls and boys, I eat everything. So even now, for instance, like I'm single now, and I'm just even putting it out there, like I'm not dating a single person. Like I'm sing I'm dating a girl and a boy because I love how girls eat pussy and how they love um, your body. Mm. And I love how boys fuck pussy and how they love it. So I want both because they mm. both don't have both. Mm. And that's literally my way forward is I need. Oh. A man and a woman mm. in my life. I'm literally like this and more. Are you moon child? I'm in the Scorpio house? and I'm Cosa. I'm Scorpio yeah. too. And Cosa. And Ven. But are you moon child? <laughs> <laughs> problem is only ass. <laughs> That's, That's the problem. You don't That's the Ven problem. <laughs> Why don't you eat ass? No, no, no. Yeah, why don't you eat Wait, ass? Wait, why wouldn't why wouldn't you do that? I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe in one has just not come <laughs> around to it. Like you know, I just mean, when okay, what is your sex? Yeah. What is your sex? Ay, hey. Hey. Oh, boring sex. This is not about me. You should ask me on the interview we did on Madness Method. You should ask me that. I mean, <laughs> so what's that a family show? Yeah? <laughs> like you're a missionary? No, 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 no. I don't like talking about uh, 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 my sex. What's life. your favorite position? <laughs> what's your favorite position? <laughs> I'm rebranding. <laughs> <laughs> And you got me. <laughs> you branded like this has got you this far. Now you want to rebrand. You want to rebrand. What the fuck, bro? Taking us to church and shit. Like, come on. What were you doing with your woman then? Since you said you like both. What was I doing with my woman? Yeah. yeah. Everything. Um, um, being with the woman. Teach you like you can't tolerate bullshit sex from a man after that. Yeah. And you can't. You don't take shit because the whole body is an antenna. It's a sexual antenna. Like I grind on a shoulder. I grind on a toe. Wow. As long as the toe nails are clipped. I sex the whole body. Wow. Like, oh. I get you. I get you. know what I mean? I like that. everything. I know everything. That. Yeah, yeah. So, um. You, you guys had toys as well, no? Your toys, I've no? got all the toys. I can advise you on the best toys. Mm. Um, next time you get, you bring me here, I'm going to bring you a box of male toys. Yeah, you were meant to bring that to Which today. are not very popular. Yes, I was. I forgot, shame. Yeah. Halloween. Yeah. Oh, no, actually, I didn't forget. I wanted to come back. Okay. So, um, <laughs> hey, now, she wanted to come again. <laughs> not me? <laughs> I'm literally only coming on Friday because my fuck is not in town. Oh. But, um... I shame, yes. I'm sure people get scared when they come to me because I'll be talking about them too. But yeah. I never say their names because... Have you noticed though, you never really know my relationships because they're very private? Yeah. But I know one guy you smashed. Smashed? Yeah. Um, I've been in three relationships. Sex is another story. Yeah, which one yeah. Did I, which one is his name? Njabulo, uh, Focalistics Manager. Oh, the kid. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. You like so young, basically, eh? it was him and my girlfriend. Then I chose my girlfriend. Mm. Yeah, she was fucking better. Oh, they were vying for your spot. Um, so I picked up I picked up Njabulo on a Friday, Devon July. Then I picked up um, the other one on a Saturday. Mm. And then we did this two weeks with the kid. And then Jabula. Jabula. the girl took over. The sex was banging. Mm. So I took the girl. Oh. Then it was two and a half. Yes! Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Any yeah. other celebrities you've smashed? Um, I don't really. Kijile mm. Kijile? No, no, no. I don't do celebrities in South Africa. Oh. oh. Okay. Level. National celebrity. Level. I've got a lot to lose. I can't say shit. <laughs> Oh. Do you know the other time Diplo WhatsApped me? He's like, oh, apparently we're fucking in South Africa. And I was like, yes, child, let's let them think that. Oh. Yeah, I think it was after that interview. He was after spoke, that interview. Yeah, we spoke about Diplo, man. Yeah, okay, no. cool. On to serious things. Yes. Describe to me, what is this feminist movement? What is it? 
I don't know about feminist movement. I know if I'm called a feminist, it's probably because I don't take shit and I speak for women empowerment and owning your sexuality, owning your power, period. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And just knowing that you're not a baby-making machine. Mm. You know? That's all it is for um, you, for yeah, you. Yeah, for me. Mm. That's, um, I guess, the feminist part of my existence because I don't take shit. Like, I don't have patience, so I have to be rich. I don't have time to be cooking for a man. I Uber Eats. Uh, I've got time to make money and have good sex. But mm. other than that, I get The patience Like, I'll get married in Vegas to someone I pick up or whatever and get divorced at some point. Like, for me, it's not a dream. Mm. So, I don't know. I feel like it's just owning your power and sometimes I get so confused because like I know for instance with my ex right yeah because she, she's been in the LGBTQI community um, for longer than I have outside of me dabbling in and then until I dated her I started realizing I actually don't know a lot same here oh, yeah. same here and I'm here advocating and doing this from what I know and once I started dating a girl I got to know even better it's just like yeah. Bro, it was the same thing it with was us. Different. Uh when Bougie started doing his um LGBTI podcast. Yeah. I was like, "Whoa, there's so much I didn't know yeah. about, you know, that community." Which alludes to what which you were is, saying. Yeah, so it's a constant learning. Mm. It's definitely a constant learning and I feel like it's something that where you when you've made a mistake that you weren't intending to, yeah. you still are um a receptive of the correction. Mm. Mm. Can you be a chiller, love the podcast, and still be a feminist. Is that possible? I am. Hey! <laughs> hey! I am. Yay! Hey! <laughs> Solid. And I feel because of maybe there's no correction episodes or whatever. Because um, I watch, I watch, I watch. I'm, sure. Sure. I'm not even yeah. sucking from my thumb. Le flem young pot. So it's like, um, what was I talking about? I don't know, I forgot. You were talking about you being a <laughs> you, chiller. You being a chiller. And, uh, that maybe and, and, and watch. I feel watch like anybody episodes. that doesn't talk about it, your numbers show because they, they watch in secret. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? And love it. And the love numbers it. show. It's the numbers. It's the numbers that show and your growth then is consistent because of your numbers showing because they're still watching but they don't have enough power to be in the platform to teach the change. Instead, they bully and want to cancel instead of the, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I feel like, I feel like you need to just do your research mm. some more because mm. I feel like you've chosen this ignorance and therefore when you make a mistake you're just like oops I didn't know how are you going to know if you didn't care to check Okay. how are you speaking about it when you don't know mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. so how, would you, how did you feel about the Aerie Lennox thing did you watch the interview no you what didn't happened? watch it no? what happened oh. ah, let's not even go there no, no we, we, okay. I think I think we should because okay. yeah. you remember what she said. Mm. She said she portrays her sexuality almost v- transparent in her music on her Instagram videos, and she owns it. So Ari Lennox got a very sexual song, mm-hmm. and he then asked a very sexual question, which she was shocked by. Which was? Uh, who are you fucking right now? Yeah, and she was shocked. Oh, no, is someone fucking you good right now? Yeah, 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 yes. You know what I mean? She was like... And she's got a song where she sings, I'll fuck you good. Fuck you good, like fuck you good. That's a normal good. question. I mean, Thank me, you very much. To and me, that's plus normal. the content. I mean, we've talked about anal, you know, we've talked about different things. But what... I, I, I That's not a problem question for me. Mm, mm. Who's fucking me, right? I just said I've got a fuck ship. I just said I'm... Mm. Yes. Do you know what I mean? You even it's, mentioned Jabulo, you know? I didn't. He did. <laughs> I see star in the bedroom. And but also, I didn't say, yes, thank you. I was about to say, I didn't say be staring. No, I never, you, you be staring. I didn't say he was bad uh, either, he was, Shane, he was just a kid, he was just a kid. It was, it was an inexperienced penis. Uh, not bad, not small, inexperienced. You didn't know what to do with it. Me, I don't know Him, what to do. Him, you didn't know how to use it. Oh, so he didn't know what to do. No, yes. he didn't not know what to do. He did what he knew. Oh, okay, okay. Which was very limited. But you know what? Because he's new to sex. New? How old? Just, I mean, when I'm 20, 23. Yes. Yeah, he's still a light. He's still a light. He's a kid late five late years late late after. Late. Oh, my God. I'm seeing you to a 23 year old right now. Yeah. I Googled the age. I was just like, too. <laughs> but you okay, know, I'm not you, know you know what someone made me realize yeah. that boy Eddie Lennox they have ghostwriters. Still though. So you s- 
still, you stand for what you've written about. Mm. Because the questions are from what you've written about. Mm. Maybe she was offended by how you asked it. Because 100%. she doesn't say, fuck you, fuck you, like Moonchild. Mm. So you could have asked that nah. question, who's yes. making love to you? But did she say fucking in the song? Yes, she yes. did. I guess. Bro, I if, tried. I, if I don't like reggae, I won't get a reggae ghost producer. So you are portraying this ghost written stuff. Mm. People at the end of the day, it's you. So you must own it. If you choose to own it and make it make music out of it, mm -hmm. then it becomes you because we don't the know you're written, it's written by it. someone. Thank you. If you're it's an the same artist, reason people call me a prostitute on social media they and call they call me a prostitute. Me. Uh, and then I say, Pella, when are you were born to a prostitute mother, my dad was the pimp and the client didn't have money for morning afters. <laughs> <laughs> That's cold, man. That's no, cold. We got to cancel bullied. you for that, yeah. man. Imagine I said that, bro. Uh, <laughs> your mom was a prostitute. Yo! <laughs> and your dad didn't have morning after. I've got license to say uh, that. I'm a mother. Uh, uh, you call uh, me a prostitute. Uh, uh, I'm a mother. And, and I'm like, saying your mother. Mm. And you're like, it was a Monday. That's why you're called Nomvula. <laughs> <laughs> They'll cancel you for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can say it, though. <laughs> Ooh, yo, 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 where's the beat? We gotta put this in the song. We gotta put this in the song. Which gets to my next point. Why, why is it that you can say that, but I can't? Um, I'm a woman who has to maneuver their way in this world, and you're a man with a dick, and already things are served to you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Is that the same answer for? I saw someone. So there's a movie now, right, called uh, the the Tinder Swindler. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, there's obviously an uproar. Oh my God, this guy's been scamming women. Mm. And he's been even off Tinder. He's been yes. banned. Yeah. Yeah, scamming women. <laughs> but if the roles were reversed, she would be trending the woman as a champion. Of yes, get them bitches. Get them, bro. Yes, get, get them, bro. Finish yes. them, bro. Yes. I'm so fucking so lonely. the same answer? <laughs> uh, it's not the motherfucking same answer. So because you guys have a privilege from having a penis already. Okay. Same answer, so then. It's, no. So not the answer. same answer. Not the same. Okay. It's an answer not the same. Why would then, why, why would be would she be heralded, heralded as a champion? Mm. Because women. men are full of shit and they need to be taken down. They are to us. Solid. And that's where I think the confusion comes in with feminism. I think people, well, okay, let me just say, some women mm. use that as a weapon to go after or cancel someone they don't like. Mm. And they use that as... Yeah. I found, um, I have found ridiculous things to a point where I call myself, I, I say apparently I'm a feminist because mm. sometimes when I see the feminist movements and shit like that, it's like, okay, this is ridiculous. I don't know how this makes sense. And it's got nothing to do with men, but it's like how you choose to see the world and how you choose to see and hear and everything. It's like now you, when you're ready to fight, you hear something that makes you fight. Mm. Cause it, you know what I mean? So. I even, when I get called a feminist, I say apparently because I don't think of the other things that I personally feel ridiculous. I don't, I'm not saying what they've said to you is ridiculous because sure. you've been offensive. Mm, mm. But there's things with me being called that and I'm like, but I'm not a part of that part. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So, um, it's tricky, but the women must eat the men. Baba Nyi Sanjay, solid. And eat our ass. <laughs> <laughs> You agree. It is a world. A world now. <laughs> so can you know I, what I mean? So can I still ask women if you've been smashed? Because we ask niggas all the time. If you've been smashed. Yes. Um, Body so count. I feel, I personally feel, if you do come to the show, you know the lingo used at the show. You know the content. Yes. I'm not necessarily going to say, like for instance, the insensitivity of your language though, when it came to Amanda mm. with a jupe jupe. Mm. That is a different thing, right? But that's the tricky part. So now, how do you know that he raped her when you yes. asked him about smashing? We didn't mm. know because it was never public info. So is that how do you? But then continuing. But he didn't say he raped her. He didn't. He didn't say he raped her. Yeah, he didn't say before I spoke about it. There's rape. Yeah, she said he loved her. You were he, speaking I highly of her. Yes, yes. Mm. yes. You, speak, you spoke highly of her. And how you guys do your shit made the victim feel fucked because 
this guy is, not is, like is, that. is, is moving in a way that makes people feel sorry for him mm. when oh. he's the culprit and yes. then he's capitalizing on his space because you use that language so you're automatically on his side uh-huh. mm. so but then you perpetuating is still that thing but without knowing what are you doing you can't suck you can't guess that he raped her because he never said he raped her yes. thank you and then it's so all for me it's if you're coming thank know the language reject the offer to come and do a, 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 a podcast podcast. Mm. Mm. podcast and chill because this is the lingo Kubuzo and smash not like love making. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? When you're going to the love hot chicken making, one, Kubuzo and hot uti hot chicken, not a chat ni chicken or sweet chili. And even do you know you what I mean? You know what you're coming to. If, if you outside, go on radio, they you ask you. If you go and you're going to the hot wing interview, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Whose fault is it? Mm. I served you wings. You came. You were booked. Mm. So mm. it's like it's it's very tricky in that way. You can't control that part. You can't control interviewing a rapist who doesn't own up to being raped, and then now because of how you are, it's offending. Mm. Someone that he's violated. Hundred mm. percent. So it's tricky. and we're very sympathetic for that. Yeah, because mm. we didn't know. I mean, if it was a, yes, a the whole thing, it was smash. Thing. It was smash. Yeah, there was never a point where choop choop. The whole time, he was acting like a victim. Even with Kelly, he was acting yes. like a victim the entire motherfucking time. And you know, manipulators, men, mm. mental manipulators. You know them. You're just watching that shit, and you're like. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad Amanda came out with that shit. Yeah. And we're not journalists. We're there to portray what his truth is. Even if you were a journalist, you still are not a psychologist. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, or a mind reader. You still not. Uh, yeah, we're not a mind reader. I was gonna say you're not we a clairvoyant. Mm. So yes. You know what I mean? Um, so it's tricky because you do how you do, and this is your language in your show. Mm. And when people choose to come here, it's like signing a contract of knowing the language that's used, and it's not necessarily meant to be offensive. It's who we are. Hundred percent. My ass yeah. is not supposed to be offensive, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> but it's who I am. Do you know what I mean? So you can't change that. It brings me to my next point, right? Yes. Am I correct in saying uh, the feminist movement is for women being treated equally to men? Yes. Essentially. Yeah. So if we ask all the men on the show, have you been smashed? Now, why must we change the lingo for women? Because you guys want to be equal, right? Why shouldn't we treat them the same? Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> is that how you keep the sponsors on? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Oh, it's a, a valid question. Yeah. It's a valid question. Yeah. Um, so what was the question again? The question is, if you women want to be treated like men, equally. No, no, not like men, the same. Yeah, the equally. Same. Yes. yes, the same. Yes. Why is it that I can ask men if they've smashed and it's not an issue, but when I ask a woman, we must be cancelled? I don't know. Because... I watch the show and you ask about smashing and I know what the questions are. I, I don't know. You, you don't take offense to it. I don't take offense to yeah, a lot of things so I get, in I general. Get that answer. And, and, and that's why it's like mm. when some, someone, some other people, like if they're doing some offensive shit, I'll, I'll take time on some. Okay, so what you do, you don't use Vaseline. I think keep it Vaseline. Man post a picture. You don't do Vaseline. You're damaging a girl's pussy. So it's also yeah, got to do no, with time. No, no, I'll be like, no. You get don't use Vaseline. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Water paste. Then I'll have time and I'll teach in that moment. But... In general, like, I, I can't be bothered by someone, okay, I really can't be bothered by someone who's offended by my booty. The brands that I, I've been rejected by brands of course. for being myself. Join the club. And now, <laughs> I am literally, welcome, welcome. I am literally hey, we've lost booked. like a million, <laughs> four, five million. And then yeah, you make yeah, a yeah, billion. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you make a billion. Hey? Because people need Dude. to adjust, people need to adjust to new realities in general. So like, the same people that rejected me like a couple of years ago are the ones uh, that are booking me now to make their brands edgier. They were scared of me in that time, but I had to be true to me. And me being true to me came with hunger. It came with no friends. It came with, you know what I mean, a lot. Yeah. But me knowing what my mission is, it's just like, I, I can't be anybody else. You're going to have to take my booty at some point. And look at Ooh, you now. And now they're taking that. my booty. Round of applause, guys. I love it. Oh, I love it. So Stay true to yourself. The world needs to be shaken, and you, we, we, yeah, it's, it's, it's shake it. Okay, let's go to music now, right? Mm. Why is it okay for rappers? Let's not even go to the piano artists, yes, because they're out there. And then so we must go there too. <laughs> and then so, <laughs> <laughs> so, so the, the, the ice, ice, the ice, the ice. 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 What, what happened? So, <laughs> 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 in a tracksuit. 
Hey, it's one that X-ray hey. vision. So, so, it's all. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Nah, it's happening. You, Don't worry. You got eyes wide. Come down. Come down. Come down. Come down. Come your ass. Cut the cut to Zobi. Not anything as a gun kill. Okay, so you got these rappers, right, who are singing, uh, uh, fuck that bitch, fuck that whore, yes. boom, 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 piano, you got guys saying, hey, woman, kiss talk, or, uh, yeah, some, that's me. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. I got so many emails. Yeah. It was my first my piano hitting my piano waves. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, it was. It was, it was, yeah, no. Um, I got emails there on some what our children supposed to think, oh. and I said, go ask um, Nicki Minaj, go ask um, Little Kim, and then come back with the answers, and then I might have time to respond to you. Oh. It is what it is. Kote kota. There was a song that, that they said must be pulled out, eh? <laughs> Oh, I missed that one. What happened? <laughs> 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 I missed it. There's a song in in, in the thing. You were saying now, there's a song in Beyonce. There's a song that wanted to be pulled out. They said yes. it must be taken down with disciples, Jesse Disciples or something, eh? Oh, yes. flip. Yeah. That was fucked up. Damn. That was fucked up. What song was it again? Thunderthize. No, well, well, I'll tell Ooh, you about that gag. That's my favorite Askeez. song. Askeez, I'm so when old. I took the song, because I'm good with my music business, when I took the song I, for my own sinks to own 100% of the song, yeah. it's, I, call, I changed the name to Thunderthize. Beautiful. So anything I do with that song is my money. Um, anyway, because boys in South Africa be fumbling with them um, percentages and shit. With the paperwork and the yeah, split Yeah, and I, I don't fuck around like that. I Because I, I've got my I got my verse and then my team literally, because I've got a global sync team. So they've been selling that song alone and I own it 100% because I took it back. What about Midnight Staring with <sighs> Corey? No, my paperwork is solid in South Africa. Mm. Mm. So Everywhere. You, you got your royalties there. I must... Do you know I live? <laughs> <It's not laughs> hey, hey. hey, how do you know she lives, dog? No, she's not. Like, you don't even ask. This is my nigga, though. Huh? This is my nigga. Oh, it's your neighbor. He's my nigga. Nigga. Oh. I'm telling me trendy, me now. <laughs> Yeah, she's sent inside, man. She's sent in. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, Thanatai's, yes, yes. Beautiful. So, no, Thanatai's was, oh, so um, I think it was Jazik, he called me on some, they want to censor the song. I was like, you know what? I know for a fact I didn't swear this time. Mm. Like, I'll be sneaking in swearing, I know, but I did not <laughs> not it. this time. Mm. Uh, it's passion. Um, and, you know, you like a female version of me, actually. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. She is. That's the one who's comfortable talking about her sex life. Yeah. <laughs> but she is. <laughs> but she is. <laughs> so, so <laughs> oh, so you, you <laughs> are. Oh, you see up ass also. Your shit, your shit. Your shit, your So, my way now. So, the zip. Okay, let me just. Okay. Sorry about that sound, guys. Sorry, um, so, uh, what was the question? <laughs> yeah, so I'm asking, right? You yes. got songs like that. Yes. You got hip-hop songs where they're calling women bitches, hoes, yes. cunts, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you've got us, right, who never utter those words. Mm -hmm. All we ask is a simple question. Who are you sleeping with? Whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Why are we held at a different standard to those guys because it's entertainment at the end of the day whether you're a podcaster or an artist we're all creatives showbiz it's showbiz so you're saying asking that question showbiz. to a woman no 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 no. I'm saying why is it that <coughs> we've never said fuck bitches fuck hoes you're a cunt we've never done that you've never but, but they but get you, away with it you've offended other parts of the world because there's so many of us yes there's so, bitches there's people there's trans yeah there's yes and then rappers and piano artists can go on a song and say, this woman kiss talk and degrade women. Yes. Whatever, whatever. But they held it at a different standard. It's culture. Why? What do you mean? It's culture. It's the Break culture. Break that down for me. Because they talk about bling, they talk about bitches, they talk about... Because I feel like I can't be feminizing content. Everyone plays a role. You can be the bling boy, you can be the money boy, the love boy. You can be, you can be so, you can play so many different roles. So why can't we and have I that role like in this space? Musically, you've got a creative license musically. It's different to sitting down off my job and whilst doing, still doing stuff within my job, but off what my actual core is. But this is my it's job. Different. So why don't I have creative license? Why? Because um, you have a penis. Sure. So my sin is... But the rappers have, have penises. I'm born with a dick. The, pe the rappers have penises. But they have a creative license that's completely different. Why? Well, it's because it's a song. It feels good. It's nice. It's a song. And we can all sing along to it without having to uh, um, um, give... Uh, there's no accountability. You're sitting here. Yeah. We can reach you. 
who's gonna ah. tell who's gonna I don't I feel like in, in music it's creative license. Ah. In interviews, it feels disrespectful. We're not a news. We're not a news show. We're not like you're not. So we're within a podcast, this show, we... this show, I feel like if you come to this show, you need to know. There's no way you're gonna like. You need to know what it is. You can't be very touchy. You can't be. You must just be chilled. And how many people are actually chilled? Because you see them on social media and stuff like that, and they take 50 takes to have one picture to get a thousand likes. Sure. Mm. People go through so much to give you a character that they're building for you. So it's like, how many people are actually really chilled? Okay, so what do you think? Why is it that artists have creative license and we as podcasters don't? Because we do the same thing. Beautiful. Day. Yeah, so what do you say? We entertain. People say. Maybe if you said your shit to a beat. Maybe. Oh, We're yeah. not doing this podcast with a beat that's, in the background. Yeah, that's actually <laughs> podcast yeah, yeah, with yeah. Yeah. a beat. Like yeah. 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 They have the same license as comedians and musicians. Comedians don't have a beat, though. That's they don't have a beat, but they make commentary. you laugh. But it's social comedy. We make people laugh. We, they get we make people laugh though. more than it's comedians. It's not called Mac G Comedy Show. Wow. Already that license is not automatically placed there for people to tap out but of that. It's, po- it's called it's podcast and cheer. If you go on, on, on whatever platforms we're on and you see the... Uh, 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 categories that we're under mm. it's entertainment comedy is one of them because there's generally yeah, a, lo- a lot of laughs it is our show is about laughs is it the, the Mac G podcast comedy show that oh, we're being read come on. that if you read a word psychologically you have an expectation if you don't see the word comedy and you happen to laugh in there you didn't tune in saying I'm watching comedy you tuned in watching reality and when people are watching you in reality they feel offended realistically oh. comedy, comedy is reality also, though Chappelle also gets cancelled though and, com- and, and, it is, and it is a comedy show like I'm just saying yes. the likes of comedians also get cancelled no you know what she's saying she's mm-hmm. saying when you watch the show mm-hmm. whatever has happened is realistic realistic so yes, your yes, emotions yes. it's real time you're not listening to a story but when you when, 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 when you listen to a song you have to go into another zone Mm-hmm. So it's like, like a painting yes. or, or a book. It could be fiction. Yes. You know? yes. So as we're doc- we, 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 are, we are non-fiction. Yes. We are non-fiction and, and you're reading a fiction that book. that can affect you differently mm. because you're watching uh, reality. Oh, I guess. Yes. Welcome to the party, guys. So we could make soda. a song about cunts and holes and not get cancelled, but we can't say that in real be, time. Be, those songs don't get cancelled because it's a st- it could be a story, it could be fiction. You guys are reality. That's the difference with the creative smart. license. You smart. You smart. Oh my God, guys, I get Can this we start calling time. this podcast and comedy? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Podcast so we can and have comedy. One creative license. Can yes, we can say all the shit. No. A yeah, beat. Yeah, one word. Word. Just a one hour track. In general, you know Makes sense. Song. It's real time, dog. Going back yeah, to but still, going though. back to Umlando twerking. Da 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 da. Same action. No, I don't. What do you mean? What happened with him? What are we drinking? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing as going to Umlando. Mm. Other dick owners are talking about these things in songs and creativity and then reality. Mm. Different um, consequences. And then like Umlando, feeling like you're not twerking, but you do, you're twerking. You're twerking. Mm. Yeah. Because it's, ner- it's named differently. So putting the words there psychologically has a different expectation already. Mm. Just because yeah. I'm laughing, if it's not called comedy, I'm not tuning in saying it's comedy. I know I'm entertained. Mm. Mm. There's okay. a difference. It's just the psychology of placing words mm. for people to think differently mm. sure. or expect something. Who different. needs PR when you got oh, Muncha? There's my PR that? right there. Muncha <laughs> <laughs> needs PR. <laughs> yes, yes, but you got people tune into us literally, religiously, st- religiously, strictly for entertainment. No one tunes into us for 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 advice on life. Oh and no, they tune in for entertainment. Yes. So then why can't they take whatever we say? It's still reality. It's still, it's still reality. It's real time. That is in their heads. That's embedded time. there. Yeah. So whatever you say and do, however they entertained, once they're offended, they touched. Because yeah. it's the reality. Nah, it's not. Because the, the people who do make the noise about being offended are not the people who live on this platform every week watching us. It's those who watch us secretly. And those that's who what watch I'm saying. People watch when secretly. there's an uproar. The then people who watch us the, religiously. Oh, okay, there's a lot of us now. Yes, exactly. But you're still going to watch alone, right? Mm. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But also, we still have a responsibility, even though it's small people, 
to the community. Hey, what are rebranding? Small people? <laughs> elaborate, elaborate. Really rebranding. Wait, what is <laughs> like, yeah, we still have a responsibility. So, the Batupini, the Batupini principle. Yeah, uh, Batupini, you are fucked up already. So, so, so we have 500,000 subscribers, right? Small people. No, no, no. I'm saying we have 500,000 hey. subscribers. You're a flex, not huh? Ah, no, ah. not small people. Let me finish. Let me he finish. He said small. Those were his words. No, I'm, I'm getting to the small people. He's, he's, he's going to get to the small, the small people. people. Alrighty, alrighty. I'm saying we have 500,000 people that oh, come that back planet. week in, week out yeah. Yeah. for this shit. They subscribe to this shit, right? And then we've got 4,000, 2,000 people on a good week on Twitter who will say they're not for this. Who hate yes. this. Yeah, they're all watching it and we want to wanna know why. What did they say now? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying we have a responsibility to the community as a whole. In as much as, yes, we've got our chillers, but also we don't want to be pushing like weird Homophobia? shit. Yeah. 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 You understand? Exactly. We're not for that. It might be small we're, people, we're people, but it doesn't mean the... the it's not issue. small people because <laughs> majority of South African fucking men is, is homophobic. Mm. And so once you start continuing or perpetuating this homophobic situation, not knowing the same audience continues doing that bullshit. What I'm doing in that yeah, household, that means, that means. what I'm doing in that household is useless. Yeah. Bring, bring that your, makes, bring makes your, the mission uh, futile. Cook child, yeah. It makes it, it makes the mission a little futile when you are a part of the perpetuation of no change. Mm. It makes the mission a little futile when you are a part of the perpetuation of no change. Mm. When it comes to your careless speech. Mm. Because mm. you You've said it yourself. Yeah. You haven't done that one. Research. No. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, we've, we've done a corrective episode on that already. Like that whole thing. Yeah, and on a that, that, uh, that we get. Is, is, is that your PR? PR. Cabello in the middle is PR. Mm -hmm. Makeup. Uh -huh. Makeup advice. Yeah, call advice. Whoa, you advice. travel with makeup. You call, travel with call, PR call advice. and travel with advice. The Cause, hey, so, so easy makeup. No, no, no he's advice. advice. You, oh, you're about advice. To figure, advice. You're about to find out. Yeah, he wrote a piece about us. When, Actually, uh, so yeah, for real. You. The community. Hey? He spoke to you. For real. Actually, you break it down, child. He spoke to me. Remind to him. You. Oh, you look at the heart train. At the heart train. And I gave you a hug. Remember, yeah, I was like, I love you. And even now, you know, I was like, oh, bro. For real, is that how you feel? Look at me. Feel me. You feel me? Am I really... Am I a wife. weird, crazy, I'm hateful nigga? I'm trying to figure out because it almost feels like I've got a white friend. I gave you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I got a black friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a friend too. No, but I embrace people. I embrace people. Okay. Ask these guys. You you like, when I walk into the room, I embrace people. I love people. Okay, my, sir. My name is Tandubuntu, by the way. I embrace people. I love people, you know? Okay, oh, and he oh. told me all that shit. He shat on me. And I'm like, bro, you, you have no idea, bro. I'm the most chilled. I talk about fat people. I'm a fat person, right? I talk about certain kinds of people. And... I may fall under that certain kinds of people because to me, I can joke about everything and anything. It's just that sometimes I get that there's a whole thing in the country where gay people or the, um, LGBT, the LGBTQI, community. LGBTQI community is under siege mm -hmm. and attack. And if I make a joke about that, it's like I'm being a proponent of that hatred and I'm pushing it. And it doesn't come from that. My jokes or humor comes from It's just humor and an outlet mm. to get me. So that's where I knew, okay, I went wrong here. Maybe then you can't joke about, example, Jews during the Holocaust. Mm. Not right? maybe, you can't. Mm. Yeah, no, not, not maybe, maybe even. Yeah. You can't. You can't. So you can't joke about Jews during a Holocaust. So there's almost a, somewhat of a genocide happening in the country where people are being attacked for their sexual uh, orientation. So I can't joke about it as much as my jokes don't come from a, pr a place of hatred. And my commentary does not come from a place of hatred. But you then get it. And we did a whole episode of that. And I told him, I said, I get it, bro. Just give and a context to who Who's advice? Who's advice? Who yeah, his advice. Okay, uh, this is yeah, Jaya. Yeah. He's a big chiller. Jaya, he's a writer. He's writes for sports. He's a rapper as well. Oh, no. Nice. And oh, we he also... Ran. He dropped bars. Yeah. And we met I in Switzerland. And Thank we you. connected. Breaking Bad. And he's part of the LGBTI community. LGBTQI. Say it again. LGBTQI. Oh, plus. At the A plus. and the plus. A and the plus. A and the plus. Yeah, A. A and stands plus. for? Asexual. Asexual. That sounds like me. Who are not interested in fucking... 
because I was going to ask him, Mr. Ass Guy. Does he know what that means? Okay, so tell us, you wrote a piece about uh, yeah. when that when that story broke, yeah? Yeah, yeah man. I wrote a piece, and I said in the piece that you guys needed to be uh, face the consequences of your actions. And at the time, what was most prominent was, do I need to lift it? What was most prominent, of course, was um, the African voices. And I said in the piece that you guys should be removed. And oh, wow. I stood by it in that moment. And because I think that what's important is to move past the whole idea of just woke culture being things where we point things out and we move up to a point of consequence. Yeah. Well, and that's, like, yeah. yeah. And that's where we're moving to now where mm. like yeah. it's not just about calling you out because you'll be called out and that's fine but there has to be consequence. Cancelling you doesn't, cancelling you for me is reductive yeah. because of the fact that yes. it's, you you you're still teach. going to exist. You can't cancel a human that exists. Yeah. But what yeah. you can you do is make sure <laughs> yeah, you can make sure that they suffer the consequences yes. no matter how dire those consequences are yes. because you in your decision making have not taken into consideration the magnitude of the consequence mm. and therefore it is with you and it's on your ass <laughs> oh, it's, it's on, on your, your ass. ass. I'm kidding. No, yeah, that, that. no, it's on your ass. You don't need to suffer the consequences. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, eat my shit. ass. Yeah, yeah. I'm not for eat my ass. Yeah. Oh, yeah, So yeah, no, I think it's important for that consequence to be there because I, I agree with that, man. That, I think that we is need what's to move important. from 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 cancelling to consequences, and that's what Spotify is doing with Joe Rogan. Cancelling to counselling. Cancelling to counselling. Just one thing, quick. Not interrupting. Yeah. If you can continue. You literally said sir, but you don't know their pronoun. Yep. That's eh? also being conscious. Okay. Hey, what, you what you literally sir? decided that yeah. they want to be called sir. Going you haven't court. asked for what their pronouns are. It's like asking for his, ah, his, his, your but name. That's tricky. That's it's murky tricky. That's waters. Why it is tricky. If I call that's why you asked. What's so happening? Not be tricky. Basically, no, can, what do you prefer? What are your pronouns? It's like you, What's your name? What, what are your pronouns? What he's saying is you've called a woman queen, but you don't know her pronouns. So you've called him sir. When did I call you sir? Did I call you sir? Oh, one of the two. Something happened. You did. Yeah, yeah, but you something did something like that. I Apparently. called you. I, I, I stopped know. you when you called them sir. Okay, can but I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I interject? Can I ask okay, quickly? Sure, sure. It's like what, what we spoke about with Joop Joop. You said we're not mind readers, right? Yes. So if Joop Joop comes on and I says, know. and hold on, and says... He was in love with Amanda. Uh-huh. Then Mac sees... A guy in front of him, and he's a guy, right? Mm-hmm. And he has, he says, "Sir." Yeah. So he's not a mind reader to say, but he identifies as a girl. He's identifies as a three-year-old girl. He doesn't know. Three-year-old girl. No, 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 no. no. There's a man in Canada. I'm gonna pass it to you just now. So there's a difference. Okay. Cool. Um, You are on the internet. You Google maneuvers, especially in spaces you've offended. You are. You then you know better. When you teach yourself, you know better. You're on the internet. That story is not on the internet. So I don't understand the comparison. Mind reading and Googling are two different things. How this is a Googleable thing. If you're saying you're moving better, you've hugged him, mm. you've embraced yes. him. I'm he's, not done. You've dude. hugged him, you've embraced him. No, he's my dude. Okay, I can't you've say hugged him, you you've embraced dude. him. You don't know what he, his I pronouns. do. The thing is, I, I do. do. Oh, so I he's right to say sir then. No, I was know highlighting that. consciousness. Oh. This is my person. Okay, mm. fair enough. I was highlighting consciousness. Okay. Mm. And when you are trying to change or rebrand, yes. you Google because you're on the internet. Mm. And on top of that. You, it's not like the story I got to it was not on the internet. Yes. It was an information to be a better mm. person. Mm. This mm. is information to be a better person, to move better and, and not be offensive and just say sorry. Because you already know you've been offensive unintentionally. Mm. And unintentionally. therefore, now what do you do t- t- intentionally? You no, Google. But I mean, can I, so how can would I, he have known? Can he I would have <laughs> known. He asks, what's your name? What are your pronouns? Yeah. You yeah. ask, oh, what oh. are your pronouns? Yeah. That's why on oh. Instagram, people are saying she, her. Him, her. Oh, yeah. They, those are, yes. I get, you I've ask. Seen that. Oh. You ask so that you call people by what they identify as, oh. not what you see them as. Sorry, fam. What are your pronouns? That's education. Okay. That so. is education. Um, my pronouns are he, she, they, them, anything under the sun. But ah, that only, so sir is fine. So it's fine, but it ah, applies also. to I me. Like but but that was. Know. But the yeah. point is, can I just say, can I just say, oh. I think what's important oh. is to understand, okay, particularly when you see a femme body, and mm. by femme body, I mean a woman or a masculine, a man who sure. has feminine expression. Mm. Well, I that's think femme body. Yes, a femme body. Ah. I think in that particular instance is the best 
like opportunity for you to presume that you should like definitely ask. I think you should in general, but I understand where we are in society. For sure. yes. You can't say, Can like, I mean, uh, I this podcast you know, has so many numbers. That's exactly. what I'm saying now from now on. Please ask, what's your name? Yeah. Yeah. Not related. And Can I ask a question? So you know how to address a person. That means you are moving consciously mm. in mm. the world you are in. You understand? So, you're reading yeah. the room. Normally, yes. You don't I, read the room. You ask questions. You're not a clairvoyant. Remember, we established that. Mm. You okay. ask. Mm. And okay. then you know and move better. I like that. So, I'm I not like a clairvoyant, that. but... I get what he says. Like I've met. That means a f- doesn't mean clairvoyancy. Don't worry. <laughs> I, I've met. Hold. Oh, what is that? I missed it. I Just met move, you bro. Moment. Move it, I girl. Met you Come moment. on. Come on. Okay. Look. Like you said, yeah. when you recognize a femme body. Yeah. Normally, like I w- conventionally. Not conventionally. Ah. Oh, yes. When I see man, I'm gonna need a dictionary in 2022. I <laughs> When 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 I when I meet a dude, well, 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 normally when I've met a dude, conventionally when you've met a dude, conventionally when I met a dude and I'm like, conventionally he's a dude, dude. I'll be like, yo, what's up, bro? You good? However, when I meet a femme body, and it's a biologically a dude i i never i refrain from saying bro however if i meet a woman but what's the opposite of a femme body uh, but you can see she's I masculine think that, masculine I think, but that's what i mean i okay. refrain from saying yeah that's that's what i'm saying i'll go what's up bro and i, I am i right to assume that because i think it's just, i think it's i think do. i think you should never assume that's why mm. the, uh, the problem is me, that there's assumption the what i'm saying it feels is like what no, you someone can feel wants that. to be addressed as is not necessarily what you see mm. 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 Uh, that's, why you ask. Uh, uh, that's why it's important to ask before anything yes yeah, this one does I'm not need the buoyancy establish the pronouns like for instance today i'm dressed very feminine i'm wearing a t-shirt it's I'm not feeling feminine i'm feeling mask you know That's it's yeah. happening no, but, but i'm still a fan buddy come, come, come <laughs> model for us then so they can see you oh wow this is model just Ma- model thing is mash could wear exactly how you you are dressed there we go and so that's to me i'm saying that's steve jobs walter white no that's not steve jobs this is walter white breaking bad man heisenberg say my name it's Jesse and Heisen. <laughs> okay, here's a Steve Jobs of drugs. So. <laughs> here's a Steve Jobs of drugs. Okay, let's go back to the article. Yes. 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 So, sorry, but what article? about the article? Your article, yeah, about yeah, your article. Yes. Man. Oh, yeah, we're talking no, about consequence. Yeah, we, oh, we yes. talked about that. Yeah. Th- must suffer. Oh, no, yes, you must, you must suffer. As anybody, as a rapist, should go to jail. <laughs> as anybody else who has done any other crime to anybody else, because yeah. it's hate culture. I mean, it's, 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 it's hate crime, you know? Yeah, the bro. thing is, a lot of people, a lot of... One of um, Heterosexual people don't understand the consequence of their words because right. the biggest problem in this country isn't the fact that we don't have liberties as queer people. It's the fact that there isn't social buy-in. And what happens is that language creates social buy-in. So if you mm. perpetuate this, no matter how many in, like, things they could write on whatever constitution, it won't change mm. because you are making it okay to say stubborn in a way that weaponizes it jokes. and not yes. as a means uh, to empower. Yeah. Oh. Can I give you a hug, man? <laughs> Again? Hug, is this Jürgen Klopp? Is this Jürgen Klopp? <laughs> oh, man, that's so profound. <laughs> hug of the nation! <laughs> See, I give him a hug. Like, yeah, I get it. Oh, and it's, wait, why do you have it's to exactly. say that out loud? Why <laughs> no, I'm just... Being a, I'm just come on, but it's exactly okay, what wait, he said. Hug. You can't. Hug. Oh, you can get it. Hey, <laughs> 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 You hug like you hug like warm warm. No, when I hug, I hug like I'm a uh-huh. hugger. Like I hug. So, hug l- let me bring it back. Wait, wait. I want him to finish. Yeah. Okay. No, no. I hug, hug. Yeah. When I hug, I hug. I want to feel. You. If I don't, then it means you, you're not trying to feel me. It's no, fine. she's saying before the hug, oh, you were okay. finishing you're a, 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 a Oh, no, that's exactly what I was saying, that like you can't make jokes about Jews during a genocide or, yeah. you know what I mean? Because like, yo, dude, these people are disenfranchised and whatever. You can't just say anything because it normalizes it to the, the ones with the hate, the ones who want to commit 
the, the, the killings and the injuries towards this certain group of people and it's mm-hmm. exactly what they're saying and I get you, it. You know what, I so fight now, hard. here's my point. Mm. Did you see where I was going initially? The reason I, I hugged him was I wanted to see if he's going to announce that he hugged me. Because mm. he's announcing so much how he hugged and he was affectionate no, to Jaya the first camera, time. I think. And then he's hugged him again. Mm. And then I hugged him but he didn't talk about hugging me. Mm. It was on camera, that's why. Okay. <laughs> to him, I thought it felt off camera and the but first But it was the second time, time you are highlighting like it should be a, 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 a unique a, a award. Mm. No. No, it was not that. It was to say. I've got a shepo. I know shepo, my friend. I've got a. No, it's not like that. It's not like that. It's not like that. Doing that, so it's not like that, ghost lady. I know, like some of my friends are black. Are you saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of cool. I get it, and I was wrong for that, right? And I'm being schooled and educated, and I appreciate it. No, I'm making conscious of the fact that you don't have to make it okay to the squad that you hide, you hugged, and you are compassionate to a gay man. I'm like that with everyone. No, but you're not. My point. I just proved it. You just proved it. I don't know. But I hugged you, and you didn't. Make speech you, you didn't make an announcement. Because I didn't hug you at a cow trade at 9 okay. p.m. Uh, and you stopped okay. me to say, Saul, I love your okay, show. I love you so much. <laughs> I know you Brother, get me, though. I know, I love let's you. Move. Okay, let's, let's make move. people squirt. Actually, I'm like an avid squirter. If you know the button, you make me squirt every fucking session. How long would but it then take you need to, make, to get you to squirt? Um, it's the, it's, I feel like once you've knocked that button, then it's gone. You literally knock it every time to prove a point to a point where everyone I've fucked that knows the button, it's all, they always look at me like this. I'm like, oh no, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. Don't go there. And it's another mattress protect the next day again. Hey. So I literally have to have a lot. Yeah. And I, they've yeah. torn, they torn, so I need buy new ones. Um, I'm sorry. It's better to squirt on tiles though because mm. you just mop that shit off the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Can man. all women squirt? Because all women yes, can have an I orgasm. Like can they all squirt? I feel like, yeah. I feel like, hey. I feel like all There's women can squirt, but I'm not <laughs> all women. I feel like all women can squirt, but I'm not all women. Mm. Yeah, and cause especially because when you're not educated in the squirt game, you think you're about to piss and you hold it in, and you probably go ask to piss, and it's not even piss. But mm. squirt does. And it's not even piss. So squirt has no piss in it. Come on, you put my glove over here. Ooh, that's so sexy. <laughs> that is so sexy. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I promise you, I just like, just like, just like you just can't you just can't be a new fountain. Amanti, I promise you, I'll buy you. What's going on with the sex club, yeah? Oh. Well, let's talk about the sex club. Mm. What's the sex club? Sex she's club got, she's got a sex club. club. Oh, she's naked. She's got a sex club or club. naked yeah. club. She'll tell us. Thank it's you, called sir. the Naked Club. Thank you, sir. But it could also be a sex club. Because at the Naked Club, sex can oh. happen. But it's not yeah. the sex club. The cops would come there every night. It would never open. No, no, no. no. What is that? Oh, but that the cops could come there every night. No, the sex club. Because <laughs> it sta- then it stays night. open. Cops never come. Have you ever been to a sex club? They come to no. copulate. No, I don't even understand. What is, is this? It? What do you want? Okay. So, by Safari, it's for e, the house situation. I get the cops get houses. Fuck the cops, man. Go slave. I can't fuck the cops because they only have a house and a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Go lady, when we say sex club, what goes into your head? What yes. do you think? I'm thinking of an orgy, like a sex club. Everyone is having sex together. Yes. Is that what it's, is that sex what heaven. Yeah, like oh, a sex heaven. Orgy. Okay. It's what you think about is an orgy. Yeah. <laughs> so is that Not the fiction. sex So is that no, the ma'am, naked no. club or the sex club? Is Not that necessarily okay. so? So. Must I start with why I want to? Because yeah, I feel like I give yeah, better yeah. understanding to let's why go. I'm going. Yeah, okay. let's go. Let's so go. So I, I go to sex clubs because I am immersed in the sex world in general. Oh, yeah. yeah. Love it. Um, so I don't just write about it in my songs. I live it. Mm-hmm. And Thank you. When it comes to the sex clubs, I've been to, they call them the, they call them swingers clubs. They call them exotic clubs or whatever. Oh. The sex clubs in Joburg. Oh. Honey. Joburg. Oh. Oh, it's a capital. I thought that was like a European thing. Like the Germans love sex clubs, dog. Oh, for real? Well, yeah, I the mean, Germans are weird. doesn't like, German sound like Afrikaans? Because there's a lot of Afrikaans people in South African sex clubs. Mm. Oh. Um, oh. Yeah, <laughs> um, oh, fuck me so in those spaces, what I, Francis no. von Steiger. <laughs> oh my God, you're supposed to say that when you're coming, if you come. Because <laughs> yes. you might be fucking with flaccid. Yeah. Um, so, oh. I was saying that... <laughs> oh, yeah, true, true. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you had that experience of like had a flaccid guy and no man I don't have a sex club story dog <laughs> okay yeah yeah Let's so the, the sex, sex clubs story, um yeah. what I found was there's a lot of white Africans wow goes back to Germany wow and um 
and it's older. So it's almost like the when they just like know better and whatever and all that jazz. And, they love and then girls, when you no? find like um Vin Diesel type age, guy bold black bold white, they have like three girls that are more like working than girlfriends. So the engagement is different, it's a job type of thing. But they don't pay for sex at the club. The club is not for sex. So the security process is very, very long. Okay. Especially because you're black in South Africa. And they, want the um, and they mostly want they mostly owned by whites. Jaya, please roll me a joint. But they want black girls, ne? Um, they want the black girls. Wow. So, I mean, oh my God, I'm probably gonna, uh, I want oh to reveal it, it's gonna be fucking awesome. Yeah. Lovely, um, yeah. So, I'm, I'm telling you, I want to reveal it and it's gonna be awesome because I'm doing it. I need permission, Imna. Thank you. Oh, this is my girl, man. Um, you know, if I had this table, she's my second third. Yeah, the only wife. thing that I know for a fact is just like, I never fuck up with my money when it comes to you. You'll never drown me in my money. <laughs> But in the sex game, uh, I good. live that shit. Um, so, sex club. Afrikaners. Afrikaners. Pura. So, when I started experiencing balls. that place, I was just like, okay, we're young. I would, because anyone I date, I bring them on, right? Oh, okay. In the three sums, we've talked about it, where I surprised them with three sums. Um, so, any, so when we'd go over there, it's just like old white couples. And if you see a black person, thank you, if you see a black person with a white partner that's a man, which is usually the case, um, the women are voiceless. It's almost like they got promoted from when the wife died into oh. a companionship. Oh. So they don't have power. So the black that you experience, they is powerless. Mm. Oh. And then I'm coming there, I'm like, there must be people like me, man. Mm. And also, people don't touch you. You're walking naked. No one gives a fuck about your size. Oh. No one gives a fuck about your shape. No one gives a fuck about anything. You're just free. And no one touches you. Not Are even you by naked? mistake. No one touches you. So, for instance, like when I started, I started with the thong, the same thing I do on Instagram, which is just like the only yeah, thing you're yeah, probably yeah, going to yeah. bump into in the internet. Yeah. Um, I started with the thong and I just dance. And then I'm just like, then I started looking around. You see a bull, a guy walking with chains on his penis. You see someone getting muffed in the air. And you can't be like, <gasps> All that shit. It's like literally, air. yeah, literally being muffed in the Usse air mafi. by the pole. There's a DJ, there's a resident <laughs> DJ and stuff. And <laughs> I hope I might, I don't lose membership at the new club I just joined. Um, and I'm not going to say their name. Shame. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. But names. also my you disguises, they don't know it's me. Um, and then it was just like, it's just, it, I just needed, I, I just wanted to feel like, I, I felt like I wanted black people to experience this even in my the age because people to experience safety especially women oh. the safety and confidence in it freedom is one thing you can be free in your house whatever yes. you can you can choose to be that because the yes. world is not but the confidence women had without not caring about their shapes and being naked was something that I've never experienced anywhere and only white wow. people have this ex this thing mm. because the black kids that are brought there they're selling already so it's already model like they're not experiencing oh. anything because they're selling body anyway. Mm. You know what I mean? So the, for, for me, the lessons were confidence and safety for fucking women. Hmm. Where you are comfortable in your skin and no one touches you. No one even, no one bumps you by mistake. Mm. You, get, you get fired from the circle of clubs in Johannesburg. Wow. And, and that's the safety I, you get blacklisted. That's the, that's what I want to do for black people. So now the sad thing is, and he kept uttering the word brothel and I'm like, it's not cell sexing. It's not sex selling. Oh. No, it's not. You're not understanding. So I think it was like a Mary Claire or something that corrected them and checked them and they understood oh, what the yeah, fuck yeah. it was that That's I was saying. so powerful what you said. And do you know why? Because it's the white people that have access to, access to these spaces and that's why oh, they could understand what yeah. I was saying. Yes. And when you don't have access, you piece together everything that I'm saying and you're just like, oh, free sex, sex, oh, house, blah, blah, blah. And then you piece together the little bit of knowledge that you haven't gone in depth to fucking um, research Search, and then you're gonna come with the incorrect messages, and now it's like brothel. Moonchal says it's not, but you've already said brothel. Moonchal. Yeah, mm. and they do it on purpose. Of course. Moonchal, how crazy is it that you feel safe at a sex club than Bree Street? Yo, it's a naked It club. is created for that, and it's just not advertised because people with a lot to lose do that stuff. People with um, access do that stuff. It's money shit. Mm. It's like being safe. That's why they say it's it's you it's it's money and. Safety. It's money and safety. Hmm. I think it's like being safe That's all. at a naked and I beach. Need it, I need to get it to the black community. 
but it's still fucking strict. Like you'll wait a month for membership. Oh. Because they have to do I'm research sure. on your entire life and your social media and your shit. Is it? They do background checks. So that level of safety, because you get groped at accepted, acceptable spaces like the club. You get groped, wow. you get gra- put in a car in the parking lot after being in a club where you're wearing shorts. You get spanked because you're wearing, you look thirsty. Oh, wow. Because you look beautiful. So but there the you're prostitute. naked and yeah. no black person is in that space. You sit there and you're like, only white people know about this shit and they ain't wow. trying to share it. Oh. And I feel like I got the access because I'm this girl. Mm. That's and wild. so then I'm not the, I'm not the, what's the word? Uh, scary black. The, the not scary, the word, there's a better word. Uh, the uh, mad movies. black woman. Tar- no, yeah, there you have a mad black no, no, woman. No, 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 it's one word Oh. in the dictionary. It's not scary black woman. It's not scary black. I am an intimidating black. Mm. Two words. Image wise And white people ah. love you bro Of course White people started paying me Before black people Even cared about What I was talking about yeah. they I was doing Afrikaans you. festivals As the only black girl On main stage As the only girl On main stage <laughs> Happening to be black I started paying attention To that shit When PR The people that are working At the door and stuff They'd always come and say The journalists are all Looking for you Thank you for representing us oh. So are you ever planning On starting an OnlyFans? My label actually said they got um, um, warnings from the... Because I didn't know I'm dealing with a uh, big label. Mm, mm, so mm. they got warnings from oh, the Oh, shout out to you. She's on to a label now, eh? Yeah. 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 On her terms, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Woo. Congratulations. Um, no Melinda vibes here. Hi, 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 hi. Maragut alang alin, I mean. Oh. <laughs> oh, one of the second smoke is starting. It's starting. I got yeah. two minutes left. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it always goes so fast. Hey, I could do like an extra dish. Okay, no, let me bring the toys for the next one. All right, cool, cool. cool. Yeah, please. Yeah, so we at? Uh, OnlyFans, yes. OnlyFans, so my label um, said that they're going to open an OnlyFans for me. Oh. What kind of content on OnlyFans? The same shit that is a little... It's like 17, you know? So just that one extra year, we put it on. Do you know what's so what's crazy? 17? When we look at my numbers, right? Yeah. It's like I've got kids, and then I've got a gap where I think it's that time where people are told to be supposed, they're supposed to be married. Yeah. And then I think then, the, then I've got the older people, they go from like, I'm um, 40, to 69 or something like that and I'm like this one's no life on some yeah, 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 yeah. so it's the craziest thing so it's the innocence which is great because that's the that's where I'm empowering for mm. them to feel like presidents because I'm living what I'm preaching yeah. and it's like everything is possible okay. yeah. and then until it makes sense then they'll be empowered run from F boys mm. and then the elders are like I've been through this shit they're oh, like this girl's wow. preaching let's go fuck oh wow <laughs> oh your grandpapa do you know what I mean that's it was crazy. a pre- it was a mind fuck like Whoa. we were doing this for something I'm about to drop yeah. so it was just a mind fuck on some whoa the extremes it's like this and this and you can understand psychologically like this confusion is the I'm supposed to be married now yeah 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 that gap and then there's which the age group is that? Rock. which age group is what yeah that doesn't like fuck with you that you say it's, it's the group that's supposed to be married by then they're supposed to, the group that's supposed to be widely the group that's not happy with their jobs but a husband they tolerating it's the group that is oh, just shame. being what they were told to be it's the group that has to be a wife and then then I've got the divorces I feel like from 40 I've got oh. the divorces then to 69 about <laughs> now they know life the one's oh. fresh out of a tech. divorce <laughs> Oh! 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 Everything Oh! 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 But but look, but look, but look. Oh! Uh, oh! These ones. Like, I've seen. <laughs> In my head, there's... Did, you hear, a, did you hear what he said? <laughs> so it's not a Monday said, show. <laughs> and nobody's fresh out of a divorce. <laughs> I, yes, I, I definitely. That's She's why smart, I feel like I'm the content. She's smart. No, she doesn't content. get it. I've been catching everything, Charles. She, she, she catches smart. everything. She's smart. You don't get it. She's smart. <laughs> You're asking me about something I'm waiting for his next story. I got it. No, I was saying... You didn't get it, but it's fine. I was saying... <laughs> Be, I've, I've, I've subscribed right, to OnlyFans. Move on. Let's move on. There's, there's fresh a t- out of divorce, like, I, know, I heard you say fresh out of divorce. Yes. 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 Why? Right. Why? Why? Right. Because I'm single. No. Oh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, guys, many times 
times in Kalele. It times them. First, I have to go. Let's go. Let's go. Y'all are making me some things. Now it's a thing. This is a thing. It definitely is a thing. Fresh out of the box. Oh! No! She's having a Elrado Kanyako moment. She's having a. Mama can you make you for disrespecting the guy again. Nah, man, it's my dude, it's my dude. I mean, everyone's, he, everyone's dude He here. did the whole video and, you know, no, so it's a know, thing, it's a I'm thing just now. Just we'll have a jab at it, it's a thing. Nah, it's my, my nigga, nah. It's my nigga, man, it's my nigga, we're good. Ha, 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 ha. No, I, I feel like I don't know. Oh, but this, that man know. is so good because she is fresh from a relationship. Oh, that's a double pun. Yeah. Oh. Double entendre. Double entendre. I chose the other one. Okay, but on OnlyFans, there's people who post Woo. pics, right? And then there's people who do what you do on Instagram. Hey, that pics, that videos. Yeah. Then there's ladies who... Will use sex toys on themselves, but never have sex. And then there's all there's ladies who do everything with the sex. I'm just selling what I give you. I don't even send nudes. I'm just my first shit. Like I don't send nudes. You see it live, we rock or whatever. But I don't do nudes, so you'll never find my phone and find something and blast me for anything. Because whatever I send you, I send it to you an hour before I post it on social media for the rest of the world to see it. So you don't have power over me with regards to what I send. So I'm very conscious of my content, even not for myself, I have yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Can like, you talk about like, your Twitter profile, man? It's so trippy, man. How is it trippy? I'm yo, not even there. Yo, so have you seen it, so? Much. Huh? Have you seen it? Which the Twitter profile. Twitter. Huh. You should do Instagram. Instagram. Now I've seen Instagram. I remember when she's, she, she's bent <laughs> over in a blue thong. And Which she one says, is that one? And she says, are you a blue ready? Thong? Are you ready? A blue thong? Are you ready to come in? Do I have a blue thong? Look I at this. Hot trippy is this? Hot trippy is that? It's definitely not my vocab. Hey, what's that? That's a Twitter profile. What's that? Your Twitter profile. Hey, that's the ghost face white. Oh, that's I, my FIFA 22, motherfucking girl. Oh, is that your FIFA 22? Uh, How do they approve that? I am on She's on FIFA. The, her song, one of her songs is on the game, bro. Yeah, I know. Remember we spoke about it last year? Yes, we, we gave you a shout out. Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, bro. we love you. We love you. Yeah, that was well, Was it the five second one before you got to someone else? Uh. Uh. No, no, no. We're not five second men. Uh. No. Well, I mean, you could say something else about the lack booty ass man. Yeah, like who? Lack booty ass man. Ah, uh, which one? Is that a double entrando? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. FIFA, please t tell me, how did the FIFA thing happen? It's this. That's crazy. Um, That's so wild. Pink. It's pink. Yeah, that's when I got calls from different countries. Wow, Munchal, this is Same. crazy, man. This is fucking wild. Yeah. Are, you, are you coming or what? That's what the one I saw, not Blue Thong. You are it's crazy, Munchal. From Blue, oh, you looked at my it's hair. It's a pink thong. It says, you are saying, are you coming yeah, when or you not? say blue, it's like you think you blue, got blued up by me in pink. You know, Munchal is that, <laughs> well, that, you that, that blue, girl, you when you have a woman, eh? <laughs> When you have a woman, right? Yeah. And you think you're gonna make Moonchild your side chick? Someone ah, said you're if your shit, man dog. is following Moonchild, it's red flags. <laughs> I mean, no. look at this, Aya. It's <laughs> not even. A, that's the one. Pink, pink thong. What, what's this no. tattoo on your ass? She says, "Are you coming?" The right I'm cheek. A, um, I don't know. I, I was about to ask something about this that. cheek. This cheek, yeah. Oh, uh, I'm a mermaid. Oh. Yes, I'm about. I was about to ask you. I have a chick tattoo. Moonchild has been up on this. Before they tattoo. Or Tolin Jawol. No! Oh, you didn't I'm make him happy? <laughs> <laughs> you made him happy. <laughs> sorry, sorry, man, I cut you off. You're talking about the yeah, I was about to say, you have a tattoo of a woman on your right butt cheek and a tattoo of a Me. woman on your right arm that I'm looking at right Me. now. Before I was the teal, I was seven yeah. years red. Drop it, Sal. Yeah, take it off. Slowly though, play music. Play music. <laughs> ah, yeah, we Mike. Okay, I'll do them on fingers. Yes. Oh, this is you. <laughs> yeah. Can you see it, man? <laughs> Can you turn around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is it. Can you see it, Claire? So she has a similar tattoo on her right butt cheek. Hey, hey Moon, who do you think is a better kisser between me and Zoe? Um, small lips, him. Him. I right, kiss him. Let's, Let's touch the circle, bro. Let's touch the circle. 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 Let's touch the circle.
Oh, you said I'm not going to be able to get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, the penis. We can be on a song and do it. Hi. Oh, the penis. I thought said penis. I always spoke about it. I didn't make it to the album, by the way. Yeah. Because, um. Whatever. Yeah, Which like album? Come with it. Which Come album? with it. Come with it. I don't know, bro, but it sounds juicy. But we I did mean... disturb you. were talking about the FIFA thing and how it came about. Okay, Fuck well, FIFA now. This is better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going right. to follow cool. Saul because his lips are juicy yeah, and they moisturize. Okay. Um, so, sure. Saul, yeah. FIFA, it came about it, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it came out about in journey. Wow. He, um, so I think it was like I've been working on my album since the beginning of lockdown. So I started doing um, 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 camps. So I'll just go with Lunatic. Mm-hmm. So the South African leg of my album, I went with Luna, and we just get a house somewhere away from here during lockdown, and then set up, record. And um, then people started submitting to the label from yeah. different places in the world. And this one was literally, it's so funny that beat was literally like a loop. It wasn't a loop, it was like a short, 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 um, what's the word for when you want people to check your shit, you send them samples? Samples. Sample, yeah. Um, it was a sample. And I was just like, this one reminds me of my first album when I worked with Maramza on Future Ghetto Funk. So it had that oh, quite yeah. a feel to it for uh. me. And then I was like, okay, you loop that. Mm. Then they looped it and then I created the song to it because I treated it like a quite a song. And I was going through that shit with my ex now. Um, and I uh, wrote that situation, sent it back. Then the producer said to me that there's a band he works with, there's a gr- there's a duo he works with, and they keen, they love the song, they'd love to jump on it. I was like, collaboration is my shit. I feel like um, I'm a collabor- I'm a collaboration whore. Yeah. Um, you can say, well, I can't say that. Ne? No, you can't say yeah. that. Your collaboration. I'm a collaboration Father Christmas doubter. How, how, how? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How, how, how? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> oh, you're smart. You should have a podcast. Oh my God, can you stop guys saying that? I feel like I've been here for so long and I, the way I maneuver, there's no way I'm dumb. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, no, you're not dumb. Thanks. Um, moving on. How much on. you worth? How much you worth, Mucha? Google. <sighs> um, so... With that situation, what was I talking about? Now you're fumbling me because I'm literally thinking FIFA, about what they FIFA get. 22. Oh. Yes, FIFA 22. So they jumped on the song and I've got Gosh, a sync. I'm typing on Google, Google. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the I'm, gla- I'm, I'm glad you find that like, damn, because I've seen people Google, Google. To get to Google. You're already on Google. So Good job, yeah, it's weird you know? when you do that. Ah, he's out, eh? Mm? Let's see what I'm saying. For real, that's a second on smoke, dog. It is. So far I from... Started, I was like, oops, I'm a real man. Like, I want to I want have like a puff or two before we end. Right okay. before. Not now, because I don't know how long we're going to go on for. Is that going to go on for? Yeah. Okay, so can I talk to you? Boom. According to unverified sources, Moonchild Sanelli has an estimated net worth of around 700,000 US dollars. Mm. Oh, That's nice. Funny. How much is that times 15? That's actually That's a like good one, time. Almost like 1.67 like million. What? Oh, that's no, more, more, 700. Like something million. No, when I no, it's been to about America? 10 million. No, I've never been to America. 10, 11. Yeah, no, I can see from your 10 million. Yeah, 10 million. 10 million. Oh, no, flip, my bad, my think. bad. They're playing games, ne? No, I don't know. Way more. Way more. Just look mm. at my profile. What, what does that your profile have to do with anything? I don't know. You don't have your profile and guess. Look at hey, the only profile I see is this. Only poor hey, people hey, talk like, net worth, oh, guys. Oh, that, that's why I saw the, the lady on the right cheek. <laughs> and she loves strip clubs, eh? I host oh, strip real? clubs. Mm. I host private oh, parties. I've never seen you at any strip club in Joburg. <laughs> because you haven't been to my shows? No strip club in Joburg, have you been? That just means you don't support black business, a black girl. Yeah. So I think I just try. <laughs> so, well, not this one. <laughs> so it's Even so. Beyonce supports me all the time. Like black strip so clubs in Joburg. So. Honey. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Which are 10 million, yes or no? Too low, too high? Two years. On the mark, on the nod. On the spot. Here we go. Minus, plus. Poor people talk money. <laughs> Buzz, buzz, buzz. Can you make that the promo, please? Buzz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Let's speak money. laughs>
Bars, naked bars. <laughs> five on, five on. Uh, Last time I met you, you had a vision board, which I loved, by the way. I started doing everything. that. Ticked uh, everything. Yeah, what was on the vision board? Do you remember last time? Beyonce, I ticked everything, yes. It ticked. was Coachella. You said Coachella. Ticked. But I'm going to have my own Coachella 2023. We're going to tick that. Ooh. I'll be back for that. Oh. My team is solid. Like, literally now, I know for a fact that um, I've got someone. She's won a Grammy. Um, she's in my album. And she's playing Primavera. And I'm going to be in America in that time. So yeah. I'm probably going to come through. Wow. Um, and just pop up. But I've got my own situation in 2023. I've got... I've got like a big muscle now. If you think like with the shit that I've done with like Abu Beyonce, Gorillaz, Diplo, that was independently. Wow. Ooh. And so now I've got a motherfucking muscle At and least. I've already shaken oh, and man. trimmed oh. and done my acceptance speeches and felt it. I'm about to just live it because next year, I, and I mean next nah, month I'm out on tour. I love it when you shake it. And so, so far I've got like 11 countries um, booked for my album tour. And We're um, get to 25, no? yeah, um, yeah, I want to get yeah. to 25 because my max um, thus far has been 15 countries at one tour. Wow. So independently Ooh. and opening up for the Anvort. That was my biggest. Oh, because yes. usually on my own, I'd been doing consecutively about eight countries yeah. every year for five years. We'd spoken about that. How do you do that, bro? I hustle. I fucking Google to move better. Mm. Mm. You remember that? Mm. Mm. Yeah, you love Google. You've been saying. Google. The internet. There's and no way you've got numbers on the internet Google. and then you're going to say you signed something fucked up. If you don't have a lawyer and you can't afford it, Google. There's it's so Google. much on Google. I started like, touring so because of that. I, st I was in fucking Times Square doing a show when ta um, New York Times came back to do a day in my life. Yeah. And they flew back with me was because I killed a show there. I Googled how to get there There's with so the help of Google. someone. And then I had 500 rands at Times Square, just 500 rands. But I knew I was planting seeds to go collect so now when i tour i know who gets paid i know who doesn't get paid because it's not about you being big in south africa i've been to shows with south africans are there south by southwest i've done it five times i've been to the shows i've got a there's a club called moonfire and people uh, think i own it but it, i think it was just the universe you know yeah Co coincidence and um there's no such thing as a coincidence everything's oh. meant to be um so that was meant to be because i've got my own show outside of that and out of the five years of me having been doing South by Southwest, the conferences as a speaker on how to be an independent global African brand, and I get paid for that shit, like South Africans won't know about that shit. You're writing music for Koreans. Oh, You're wow. writing music Jeez. for Brazilians. And people don't know about those side checks because they don't talk about the business of music. And syncs are a different story. I've got a sync team in the US, I've got a sync team in Europe, I've got a sync team in the UK. I've, and that's just selling shit. And so now I am tapping into the territory that are also going to make me be able to add to, uh, that are, uh, 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 enabling me to add to my profile mm. for collaborations which is my language for territories in general Beautiful. and so the business of music I feel like the children need to move better and with no pressure why is it that you so big outside of the country but in the country not mm. like because people don't embrace I, um, you I, uh, I, I, I well I guess I don't know maybe it's got to do with my upbringing because there's a part of me that I get to realize sometimes on how does people not think like I, I, I think because mm. um, I feel like if you see opportunity you grab it mm. you know if you That's get right. a toe in if you get a, a, a fucking nail in your body's in yeah. Yeah. and so capitalizing is one of those things but people who are woke then they will um, attach capitalism to wealth that is un Unattainable. 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 Mm. Yeah. And they're not even looking at their power so I feel like with me my one of the missions is like I only realized like years later that um, what I write about, what I do, I'm standing up for the little girl I was. Initially, I was like, it's just women, but it's like, I wish I had a song that told me, ba, man, balege for me, F boys. I wish I had a song that made me own my body in Petit Tan that is, Petit Mabelena choose. You know, I wish every time I didn't feel safe at home. I've had an eating disorder when I was a kid because I was never enough. But whoa, you, you went away, you came back then. A week later, but yo, you're back, you're fat now. And then, but they like, you can't have dessert out. It, without finishing the two drumsticks and you're just like but the food but the food is that so it's like you're perpetuating the shit so I remember like it's like um murder is worse murder is nothing to being fed at my household with my first album hmm. and um with those things so it's like I now 
I become the person who's standing up for myself when I didn't know I was being molested. I stand up for myself. I've been molested in a fucking track suit that was baggy, baggy, baggy. Mm. And I'm still explaining it for you to understand and fathom that I own my body. I don't give a fuck what you think. But how mm. did you see the mic video? Mm. Don't touch my body. Yeah. I own it now because if I don't, you're still going to take it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's bigger than what you take from you wanking. You can wank. That's great. That's a market. Mm. But actually do you because any publicity is good publicity. Because if you call me a prostitute, that's time in your day. Yeah. Mm. And I can respond with a hashtag new song. Please tell them that you're leaving the country. I always leave the country We're back in the streets She's going for good them, She's going for good bro Oh I'll for never why, leave why for I good them? I know the world For me <laughs> to leave like, for good <laughs> He poisoned me Please tell him You're leaving like, Imagine hey, man. No cause she told me Outside And you weren't there Oh them Is in the people here So I feel like These are aerials talking I never said I'm leaving the country For okay. good I will never leave The country for good Before I left the country I used to say I'm gonna do I'm gonna move to Jobek Do 10 billboards That actually pay me Then I'm gonna move To Japan or London now it's like I've got access in Japan I've got access in London I, I'm in the world half my year when it's winter here and uh, I know the world and I feel like I love home as well but yeah. I capitalize on my business and I go to the world because they, the reception is completely different this is where I get to sing this is where my jazz background comes up and all that jazz so it's like a full, I do full hours before I did Midnight Staring in SA Mm. Yeah. But I did full hours when I was doing the white concerts in SA. So my muscle was already trained for global. Wow. Yeah, and yeah, so you, I'm oh, always yeah. grateful for that shit, you know? And um, it's amazing because now I don't travel for free. And my Eish. check is not even... Mm. Wow. Isn't, I won't even talk percentages, but uh, uh, my pocket money is in South Africa and my global is my houses. Which song you you, yeah. you fucking yeah. with now? I'm on, like. I'm listening to Jasmine Sullivan on the tiny desk every day. Oh, I love oh. Jasmine Sullivan. I'm not free. I literally was I listening to that every day from oh, 6 million. And I think she's like on 17 oh, yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, hey, guys. I'm trying joy, to kill you. I'm joy. smoking. I'll have a puff. You're talking. I'll have a puff. One puff here. Let's Fuck go. it up. Is this the last time, Tommy? Okay, yeah, I think we're almost done. I was I what go. the fuck, guys? What kind of rebrand is this? The fuck is the fact that you do not eat ass. <laughs> stop, you stop eating ass, bro. <laughs> okay, I'll start with Moonchild. And the thing about it is, communication is a thing, right? You don't have to be shy about shit. Say, baby, let's take a... Sh- t- um, excuse me. Please take a shower because I want to try eat your ass tonight. Simple. That's the thing about actually being Simple. with people. That's why it's yeah. like, people cheat for no reason. Yeah. You don't fucking be with your fucking best friend or make them your best friend because you don't want to cheat. And it's like, they've got the same mother... But how do you know they're not doing the same thing you're doing when you're doing it? You know what I'm Someone once about? said that yeah. to me Have And I realized When the guy got crabs And I got crabs And I didn't cheat With someone who got crabs And yours can't get your attention <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell <laughs> Oh no, real and sorry. Crap. Finish yours. I got you. You're a Scorpio. Let me You're tell you something. I was with another Scorpio. <laughs> cross, cross patients. Cross patients. <laughs> no, man. I was just saying while you were talking, I'm thinking about that song with Rick Ross. You were saying some. You know that song? Say it. Have you ever made love to a woman in London and she screams? You know that song? I'm on yeah. One. I'm on one. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. I'm on one. Yeah. yeah, sorry, but anyway, it's just uh, the weed talk. A side thought. Uh, the <laughs> second hand weed smoking. <laughs> <laughs> second hand weed. Who's that teeny after? Hey, crabs, the man. Man, they look by the cellar. I think I'll have one. Let me just say that. I have a power for two, bro. This is the reason. The reason you need to have the lights on, however good you're feeling about your body, is because condoms do not keep crabs away. Crabs are on the pubes. Oh, yes. so they'll get Crabs onto are, you anyway. Whoa. So you have to have the lights on, especially if you're cheating, because the crabs will show your person. Mm-hmm. Bah, especially if they're not cheating. Especially if they're having sex Crabs with the lights. Like they, especially lights. if they're cheating with the lights on. They'll be like, Mina, I know. So make me make it a habit to try and like be playful with trying to plait the pubes a little <laughs> if they're unshaven, <laughs> just to check if there's nothing jumping around. <laughs> because it will hop onto you, condom or not, honey. Whoa. You thought pregnancy was a problem or condom breaking. Uh-uh, morning after us. Dolls. Uzonida eat deep in my tupula. For ukubulala. Eat a kumba. That's chase fluid. 
I have no idea what you're saying. Oh. So have sex with the lights on yeah. because you never know what is jumping around in those pubes. Mm. Mm. Motherfuckers in their pubes. Tell you some. <laughs> Niggas in <the> pubes. Yay. <laughs> pubes. <laughs> ludicrous. <laughs> pubes ludicrous. <laughs> uh, so as you guys smoke the last joint, what do you want in life? I'm about to blow in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine as you, as you guys are about to smoke. <laughs> what do you want in your life? <laughs> what do you want in life, son? Bible. <laughs> Don't ask me what I want in life. Who wants in mind? Yeah, yeah, man. And, and a lot of things, man. I don't know how people, like, in... <laughs> I remember seeing you oh, at, a at the baseline. I told you're a chiller, so I know you, you've heard me talk uh, about yes. this. And I saw you at the Big Brother auditions, right? Uh huh. Do you and know I was like six months pregnant with twins that I didn't know it was six months? Uh, oh, are you for real? The twins I have now that are eight years, so that's like eight years ago. And you were there like nine in August, so it was six literally months. eight years ago. Yo. Yeah, I got the munchies. Nine years ago, maybe like <laughs> two months. Yeah. When I and you From were there chilling like, <laughs> chilling like, you're such a loner, like you don't want anyone talking to anyone, just chilling. <laughs> and I only remember because of the hair, and I don't know how the judges didn't pick you. You would have been think, amazing you know what I think? housemate. There was a person that got it out of me, and I feel like they said it, I knew that they said it. I knew that they said I was pregnant. And the thing is, I also don't know what I was going to do there. But I was just like someone, people, everyone was just like, ah, oh, just like go promote you. <laughs> We're nice. I thought you like yeah, pregnant women. Do you like fucking pregnant women? Who? You. Don't I mean, I'm just that, judging from your dad. I fucked with my baby mama. Well, thank goodness. <laughs> is it, is it a fetish of yours? Knocking on some nigga's child's head. <laughs> it's only be my baby mama. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it. It's not my thing. But I've had sex with a pretty woman. It was my baby mama. Your dance move explains otherwise. Otherwise, make you where you at? I'm here, man. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're here, man? The Munchies! Are you I saw these weed. nuts this in the beginning. Weed. This is good weed. I saw these, my, these nuts in the beginning. I was like, are you maintaining your nuts? It took him a minute. It was just like, oh, now here, where you at? Like, no, your I eyes are red. You got to try away, no? I need to always do this to me. Yeah, I don't like Munchel. Afun? As funu bo bonisi prendi mele So what happened? Oh, of course, that's why I'm here down low, child. What happened in that audition? Yeah, appetizing. Were you shy or you were yourself? You were this. Man, what are you are? talking about, dog? The Big Brother audition. Oh. <laughs> were you like this, like I super, feel like not I super sexual, but funny. open about your body, owning it, and open about your sexuality, and they still said no? Mm -mm. I feel like it's been a gradual thing. Mm. <clears throat> but would they allow you inside the Big Brother house while pregnant? I didn't tell them I was, oh. but I did Shoo, tell someone actually. who was also vying for the same situation. Uh -huh. And I feel like I know that, like, I left there knowing who it was. Oh. Hey, man, okay. fuck Big Brother. You good? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pounded. <laughs> <laughs> so what's, <laughs> happening? what's happening now? What's happening now, yeah? We're Man. touring, we're touring. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I paid money to smooth to cough. You gave me a good reason. To, I'm to talking about nuts. Like. <laughs> hey, yeah. We're touring, yeah? We're touring. Like There's a lot of nuts in my mouth. Hey. Oh. Hey. You can handle a lot of my nuts. Ah. Ah, sorry. It's yeah. so funny you say that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so she can say not you. No, exactly. Yeah, she can say. She not can you. say it, not me. I like that. It's. <coughs> Let me handle these What's nuts. What's the fantasy? <laughs> I'm weird. I do not have fantasy. What is? Like, cause I've tried, I've tried a lot of things that I thought were my fantasy, and they turned out Maybe to be. Like, like I was a nice like. Okay, so you're old, Three you've lived your fantasies. Or four tell them, or tell us your history. My history? Of fantasies lived. No, like one of them, like it's like having like two big booty girls and, you know, one bed. Okay. Public sex. 
Mm-hmm. Everywhere almost have had it. So that's fun. I don't have. Yeah, that's fun. Have you done but that? It wasn't like fantasy. my fantasy. Yeah. It was till I experienced it. And I was like, was like oh, it's something I can every do. Day. I can do it once yeah. a month, twice a month. Once a week. Have you done? A um, month. Have you done LSD? Exactly. What is LSD? LSD. LSD. Oh, like the thing you put on your lips. Yeah, yeah. No. You haven't done that. Acid. Uh, ayahuasca. <laughs> uh, funny enough, let me tell you a story. I got yeah. a deeper story about ayahuasca. <laughs> bring it, bring it, bring it. So, um, when I so because of the whole brothel moon child, the first thing people would see was that so I had to live in a hotel for a year, mm. and um, so I was like right there, close to where people enter. So I could just like literally, it was like give me my plan. Sure. Um, these two boys came out, <laughs> and. Oh, it was so good. Oh, wow. Um, then the, these two boys came out. I was just like, when you when you've checked into your rooms, come to mine. Mm. Yeah. Then they came, and then then they had this thing where it was like from a tree or whatever yeah. that they use at ayahuasca. Mm. And so they told me there were the guys from there. Tra-ra, they teach tra-ra. one's from Brazil, one's from Asia, or whatever. And the Asian was so pretty. Oh, and the Brazilian one was pretty, mm. pretty. Yeah. And um, I remember they gave, they gave me this thing. So we s- sat in a circle on the floor. Like, I remember my team leaving. <laughs> oh, this sounds so cool. We sat on the floor. I don't know how they got me in that place. So we sat on the floor. So we chatted, obviously. We chilled, and then we sat on the floor. And then Before we the held hands. Then. And then everybody left. I haven't never been to Ayahuasca, but I was with the teachers. Oh. They were touring. So um, we sat on the floor. I remember Kobe was the last person to leave. He was my manager at the time. Sure. And um, they gave me this thing from this tree. And then we all take took it in. Wow. And then I don't know where, I don't know what happened. Wow. I just know I chose the Asian boy. Wow. And my theories left because I know that, you know, um, and then I felt like I should have chosen the Brazilian boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and um, who's my drink? Um, Tim. Tim. Advice. Advice. Tim. <laughs> Yo, advice. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you, advice. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm just like. So it was trippy, but it was nice. So I mean, I mean, I mean. So you don't remember anything? I remember. Just if I had to put a, if I had to name it, I'd say peace and like gone. Sure. And so I think that's the whole situation where you go and get and then you, you just see start saying stuff and yeah, that from kind of the shit. Top, no? I didn't see myself though. Mm. I saw them on me. Ooh, you've lived. <laughs> hey, you have lived. No, but I chose one. I chose one, and I wish I had chosen the other one. So they had to leave the next day. But you saw them on you. Uh, I feel like if I had to have them both, one I mean, would be the E time, one would be the. Oh, camera shot. Hey, man, it's them in shot. It's them in shot. You know? You know? I it's feel them like. In shot. No, if I had to have <laughs> them both, if I had to have them both. Okay, yeah, tiny pounds is in. It's good. them in shot, that's man. Good, that's good, that's good. So you saw them on you? Yeah, yeah I didn't trip out of my mission. <laughs> So, um, if I had to choose both of them, I mean, if I didn't have to choose, I'd make the Asian one I chose to be the eater and the other one to be the Guys, sexer. we've been talking about sex to started. I want to close off on a the good The eater. <laughs> no, the, yeah, the, yeah, the tower, eater. should have been the eater. And then and the, the Brazilian, Brazilian should have been the tower. The tower. Close off on if a good you note. see this anywhere in the world, child, come back note. to South Africa. Hit me up on Instagram. <laughs> Can you I'm going to pull you there? by your curly hair. This is a good note. <laughs> what? Yeah, I better note. I'm going to start your blue eyes. Oh. Can you end up on a good note? I'm going to bump on your six pack. <laughs> ah. I'm a child. I love her. I'm going to grind you in the pecky ass. <laughs> I mean, I got a strap on, but you ain't got a... Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Do you enjoy, like... If you share like, oh man, I'm your, very like. Oh, your woman man. partner is I'm a dying. Your yeah, woman right. partner, Michael, your woman too. partner has a strap on. Yes. Ah, so she's never but. done LSD, but she's done a less with a D. <laughs> <laughs> What? 
<laughs> Get rid of on a good note. That was a good note. <laughs> now she was saying, end her, she knows to eat some shit you say. <laughs> <laughs> but guy wants to rebrand. Oh, <laughs> a rebranded yes. note. Uh, <laughs> wrong Announcing. call. I'm trying to get the feminists to love me, dog. Come on now. Wrong call? Oh. What's your dream for a girl child? <laughs> what the fuck? A dream for a girl That every girl child would have a strap on. I That's know. a dream for a girl child. I mean... Ah, sold, sold. <laughs> I think they Is need to question? make um, the strap-ons that vibrate more popular, like with um, no batteries that need to be inserted, like even more, more, more popular as commercial as the ones that you need to replace with batteries. I mean, we're in 2022, so you know what I mean? So maybe I might just have to do that. Ooh. Fuck, Moonchild, I'm loving this so much. I don't want it to end, but we got to make it end. Um, Would you... Um, so, let's say a scenario where you had an opportunity with me and the only way you could get me or say you had sex with me is if I fuck your ass. Yep. Hey, <gasps> you can touch a nipple. Oh, what? Huh? You can touch a nipple, eat a clit. How are you fucking and that? A, Look, a is strap it, is, on? Is, 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 oh, you're fucking me. I'm fucking yes. you. No, no, no not a chance. Are you fucking mad? <laughs> <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Not happening. No? Mm-mm. If I put, if I give you, um, what are those? Poppers. Poppers. What's that? Oh my God, you haven't had hats for real. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to take stuff to. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's have homework song. No, guys, I feel like we can go week. into. No, we can go into Poppers and I'll bring toys and stuff. Yeah. Um, is this gonna happen after my tour? Because I'm literally leaving next month. Yeah. Do you know when I'm leaving? Oh, why not before? When? End of March. I'm leaving end of March. Can't I do like a Easter? Wherever you are in the world, we'll come. We'll do a podcast there. Yeah. You said this the other year. Yeah, but now we've... Ah, it was capping then. <laughs> With 1,000 views <laughs> and 1,000 subscribers, it was capping. He has a half a million go subscribers go now. now he has a half a million subscribers now. Yeah, we'll let you come. We have blessers now. We're starting a nani. So then, why don't you know poppers when you have blessers? Because ah, I know they love initiating. It's a, it's a figure of speech. They don't have it at hockey club. I figured. <gasps> figure of, that's why it's a figure of speech. <laughs> Thank you. How was your first time at the hockey club? Did you enjoy it? I didn't like at it so much. At the hockey club? Mm. Yeah, I've been to a hockey club. Mm. Which hockey club is that? <laughs> <laughs> it pretty much sounds like that naked club you went to. <laughs> Full of blacks. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they, the blacks are too hard for their membership. You know? No, it's literally only just been nice parties where I've just created jobs for um, exotic dancers to do private parties during the times when we couldn't do the situations. So where we couldn't be out out and the clubs were empty. Exactly. Princess. So I created black a business for black women. Beautiful. Beautiful. During lockdown to dance and stuff and then they go home and, and they get paid cash. No, 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 no stuff extra. The reason I feel like, I w- the reason I know I would never open a strip club, I feel like I would be killed by strip club owners because girls know they feel safe with me because I literally protect them when they're hired oh, by me. Beautiful. So they're always like, if I go to a strip club, they go and offer their numbers to me and they'll even, even if they're not allowed, they'll give the numbers to say, like we know that you rock with us wow. like they yeah. cry they do that shit because they know I represent them yeah. I don't undermine them mm. because I represent women yeah. and I think that's the thing also with my album my album's coming out this year because I recorded it during lockdown I said Beautiful. and um that album represents all shades of women. I've got the scripts for how to mack on a married man as a side chick, as your position, because you want to fuck on schedule. Ooh. I've got Ooh. paying at the strip club. Please go to the money bank to get that ass on your lap. I've got, and that's what the real gets. That's the single I'm dropping, um, the first single I'm dropping this year. So it's obviously for my, it's crime. And um, after the success of Mozambique with, with, with Gets, and we just closed the Mobile Awards when they had the cream of the crop the London stock mm. um, uh, we closed the show and then now we're just riding on that wave and making sure that we're just you know so he's on that song as well strip club and uh, there's a lot happening so um, aren't you glad you met her because first time I interviewed you you weren't there ghost lady I wasn't I'm just what do you think of? She's, she's a vibe I'm in no? awe I literally I like I'm like it's like I'm breathing in you. <laughs> I don't know how to explain wow, that. Wow, that's a beautiful But it's putting. just so beautiful. Like, no. you are everything and that I'm probably never be, but I never. embrace you. No. <laughs> you can, because yeah. they're just it, divorced. It, it, she, she's not everything you are. <laughs> 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 like, you, you just, you're on another level, but I just like... Yo, I wish I could just capture you in a bottle and keep you. And because you're, you're literally a safe space. That's actually. what all my exes want but to do. That's why they're exes. Oh. <laughs> but are you not like her, like in private? 
Yeah. And maybe you just, just can't be in public. No, no, she's just so much more. Like, she's wow. so much more. I love her, man. Yeah, I love, I love, her. love you. Yeah. I'm yeah. literally Peluga, in awe, you hey? to queen, man. Uh, nah. Is that the right pronoun? Queen? You must I make sure. I mean, anything Sir? great. King. Anything, no, fuck that. Because actually, I was saying this until I was just like, why can't you just say queen? It means you're still entertaining the idea of men being more superior. That's yes. why you have to say king as a woman. Yes. When it comes, not it's got nothing to do with sexuality. Uh-huh. This, this has okay. got to do with um, how you how the terms like like king suddenly see you or something like that. I, love I was that. just asking. I'm not hating. I'm asking why is it because while it's it's you, it's literally holding power within king. Mm. So that's the idea still yes. lingering in your head, and mm-hmm. you can't own queen because of its power. Uh-huh. But then verbally, words, everything. Speech, um, movements, everything, your life is power of women. But when yeah. it comes to you highlighting that power, you say king. Mm. Why is it still a highlight to say king if a queen is more powerful? Thank you yeah. for that. So maybe yeah. say uh, uh, whatever you want to say. Yeah, even in the, the, queen, the queen is the most powerful. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't give a fuck. I'm women great. are powerful, man. With, the thing with about me is I'm great. So just are. call it. Call whatever you want. I, I'm not touched by a lot because I know what I am. Mm. You know what I mean? You're touched I by a woman. It. And a man. Hey. Mm-hmm. And anyone. Hey. I'm touched by humans. Hey. Yeah. So, what's the problem when I say I only see humans? I don't see a man or a woman. It's when you offend a group. In you not seeing everything else. exactly because you yeah. see your fans there, <laughs> you must acknowledge. <laughs> you acknowledge, Penduka, see can you save me? Say are. something nice about it. Can you say you're rebranding? Can you guys smile? Are you rebranding, dog? <laughs> As he pops. <laughs> Hey, did you get that shot? That shot was sick. It was crazy. Yeah, that was yeah. star, right? I did it on purpose. Like, you're a brand, dog. You're, you're, like, you're, 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 you're a brand, dog. You're a brand, dog. You puff it out. Like, you're a brand, dog. I can't give a fuck. You know, you're a brand, dog. Because power. Get that, bro. Moon what are you going to say? We have to bring the toys. I have to bring the toys. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, all the filters toys, left. Are we going to bring a model? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I can bring a model. Yeah, it, it, it. Yeah.